Mr. Mathow, yeah. what are you doing here today? I'm doing a little television show. I'm the host. It's about Dennis the Menace, the movie. Well, aren't you in the movie? Yeah. What do you play? I play Dennis. No, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, Mr. Wilson, a wonderful American. Hey, isn't that little kid in it, too, that new kid? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mason Mason? Gamble. Gamble. Yeah, great name. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. Like him. Nice kid. Matter of fact, he may be coming by here sometime. Is that though. right? Well, say hello for me, will you? It's a lot of fun. Tonight, we'll meet the ageless character who's given Mr. Wilson fits for decades. We'll go behind the scenes for an exclusive look at the making of the movie, Dennis the Menace, and find out how the filmmakers, through a nationwide talent search, started with 20,000 kids and selected the lucky six-year-old to play the lead role. Hello, can I help you? Hi, can I help you today? No. Yes. No. Yes. Hello. You're Dennis in the movie. You know, a good friend of yours just went through. Walter Matthau. Shh, don't tell him I'm here. I want to surprise him. I brought him this present. Oh, I'm sure he'll be surprised, all right. You better go straight there, because the lot is real busy today. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, he's on stage 19A. Good evening. I'm Walter Matthau. This is my real hair. I mean, I'm Walter Matthau now, but for about five months, I was George Wilson. Or as Dennis Mitchell would say, Mr. Wilson! For over 40 years, the mischievous adventures of this five and a half year old boy have been chronicled in newspaper comic strips, TV shows, and now this week, a new feature film, Dennis the Menace. We'll be right back. One October afternoon in 1950, artist Hank Ketchum was hard at work in his tiny studio finishing a drawing for the Saturday Evening Post when he was startled by sudden noises coming from the bedroom. Where do these go? Hank had a son. When he was four years old, Dennis Lloyd Ketchum was a 36-pound handful uh. who... Oh, come on. Why don't you guys pay your bills? All right? Dennis uh. was the most... Maybe I better let Hank finish the story. What's going on here? I can't believe it. I'm going to get to meet Hank Ketchum, the man who created Dennis. It was in October of 1950 in, in Carmel, not far from here, where Dennis was hatched. One afternoon, Dennis's mother stormed into my studio, which is the spare bedroom in the house, and banged her little fist on my drawing board and hissed, your son is a menace, and wheeled and ran out, ran out and slammed the door. And I thought, holy smokes, Dennis, a menace? And boing! <laughs> March 14th, 1951, Dennis the Menace makes his debut in 18 newspapers. Go ahead, Daddy squirted right in his eye. July 16th, Dennis gets a dog, names him Ruff. Ruff, this is Camera. Camera, this is Ruff. Before the end of 1951, the daily adventures of the all-American freckle Face menace are featured in 100 papers. Mr. Ketchum! Are you in there? He's making all the noise around here. <laughs> For heaven's sakes, Mason, how are you? Oh, hi, Mr. Ketchum. February 1953, Mr. Wilson is introduced. Lock the back door, Martha. That Mitchell kid is on his way over here. That seemed to be the anchor that we needed. Story of a little kid who just got here and an old man who's just leaving. 
and how they need each other. Dennis the Menace reaches 30 million readers in 200 U.S. and 52 foreign papers. My first recollection of Dennis the Menace was looking at it in the newspaper. It's a pleasant, comfortable, smiling reaction to something that's part of everyday life, something that you recognize. The song Dennis the Menace climbs to number 25 on the Billboard music chart. Is this where you draw? Yep. How much do you draw? A lot. Is that pirate's gold? No. Can you leave? Sure. Where do you go? Anywhere I want to go. Is Mr. Wilson up yet? I have one more question. How old is Dennis? How old is Dennis? Yeah. He's five years. Every birthday is his sixth. When people say, hey, Hank, let the kid grow up, you know, oh, forget it. That'd be out of a job. How old are you? Uh, a little bit older. I'm kind of like Mr. Wilson. That means you're 57. Yeah, I like that. 1956, Dennis the Menace closed comic books at Dennis the Menace Park in California. Hey, you want to play? Yeah! Let's go! What about my mom? I think there's a little Dennis the Menace in all of us. Whether you're a girl or a boy or grown up or old, you know, the whole idea that he's always causing all this trouble and he doesn't quite mean to. And um, I think we can all relate to that. Dennis gets a best friend, Joey, and Margaret Wade moves into the neighborhood. Margaret, she's something special. <laughs> Quit wasting time, mush your lips together, and let's get this over with. Didn't she kiss you in the film? No, she didn't. Uh, she wanted to. Yeah, but she didn't. Okay. I've lost the only man I ever loved. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. 1959, the Dennis the Menace TV series begins a four-year run. In the 60s, the strip is number one in readers' polls. Comic book sales reach three million. Paperback sales, eight million. Dennis the Menace was always my favorite comic strip uh, growing up, and I, I've read it all my life. We had people on our block who were just like Mr. Wilson. Dennis did things that I did or that my friends did. In the 70s, 750 daily newspapers worldwide. Ketchum starts work on Dennis the Musical. In the 80s, an animated version. Dennis approaches his 30th anniversary with dirt still on his face, peanut butter on his hands, and his slingshot. Does Dennis always have a slingshot? Look! Yeah, he's always had a slingshot from the very beginning. <laughs> and his dad won't let him shoot real people, so he, it's mostly in his pocket. <laughs> 1993, Dennis the Menace is now carried in over 1,000 newspapers in 14 languages in 48 countries. I've got one more drawing I want to draw for you. What is it? That's me! Surprise! Looks good. <laughs> hey, thank you. You look good too, Mason. Hank, how many more years are you going to be drawing, Dennis? A lot of years, I hope, Mason. Many, many years. <laughs>